Welcome back to the UK tonight and more now on our top story tonight. The Labour Party has withdrawn its support for its candidate in the Rochdale by-election, Azhar Ali, after criticism over his comments on the Israel-Hamas war, which many saw as anti-Semitic. We've just had this reaction from Pat McFadden, Labour's Shadow Chancellor of the Duchy of Lancaster. Uh, well, Keir Starmer has taken the tough but necessary decision today to withdraw support from our candidate in Rochdale. When Keir Starmer became leader of the Labour Party, he said he would change the Labour Party and expect that every candidate and MP would operate to the highest standards. Uh, and although it was a difficult decision, today he's put those words into action and unfortunately we've had to take this difficult decision. So there won't be any campaigning going on from the Labour Party machine or shadow cabinet ministers. You are essentially telling people in Rochdale not to vote for Azhar Ali. Uh, that's a decision for them, but we've taken the decision to uh, withdraw Labour Party support uh, from Mr Ali, who was our candidate. Um, information has come to light uh, about comments he's made uh, on you know, not just one occasion, uh, but uh, more than that, which has meant we've had to take the difficult decision to withdraw support from his candidacy. You were speaking on TV, TV channels yesterday morning saying that he would be the candidate, that he had apologised unreservedly and that essentially he, he had sort of learned his lesson and made amends. What has changed now from those initial allegations that were reported overnight Saturday into Sunday? Well, since we said that, new information and more comments have come to light, which meant that we had to look at this situation again. Once we saw those comments, uh, Keir Starmer took a swift decision uh, to take the tough and necessary action to withdraw support from Mr Ali's candidacy. But why wasn't this decision taken after the allegations, which weren't denied by Mr Ali, that he had suggested Israel allowed the October the 7th attacks to take place? Wasn't that bad enough to take that decision then? What's made this decision necessary is new information and further comments coming to light since those that we knew about at the weekend. And since we learned about those, uh, Keir Starmer has considered the position and taken the tough but necessary decision to withdraw support from Mr Ali's candidacy.